This video is sponsored by Brilliant. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and mistakes we should avoid to unlock ChatGPT's full potential when doing data analysis or programming tasks. Okay, let's get started. All right, the first mistake we should avoid is overlooking GPTs. When GPTs were introduced, they were seen as a mere replacement for plugins, but they're more powerful than you think. One of my favorite GPTs is Scraper. This GPT allows me to extract data from websites with a simple prompt. You only need to give the link, mention the data you want to extract, and voila, you'll get your data in seconds. Say I want to extract data inside all the tables from this site. Here is the prompt that I'll use. Extract football matches from this page and put it on a table and then I give the link and after some seconds I extract all the data from these tables and I don't need to write any code on my own to extract data from websites And this is only one of the many GPTs that are available on the GPT store For example, if you're a data analyst, you might find that data analyst GPT useful because it's better than the analysis feature within GPT-4. Also, you might find useful the Excel GPT that generates Excel formulas for you from scratch. And just like this, there are plenty of GPTs in different categories, such as writing, productivity, research, lifestyle, and programming. And thanks to a new feature that OpenAI released, we can even combine GPTs by using the add symbol in the chat box. Okay, the next thing to consider is that ChatGPT offers different ways to handle problems that we might come across with. Let's consider the previous web scraping example. We extracted data from a website using a GPT, but now we need that data on an Excel file. To download it, you can use the Data Analyst GPT. But as you can see here, I got multiple errors in different attempts. Here, a workaround that will help you with this is remembering that ChatGPT supports different formats, different output formats. So here in a different chat, I have the same prompt. I got the data, but then I told ChatGPT instead of exporting the table here into a CSV file and getting the link to download that file, I asked ChatGPT to output the table as CSV. So here you see the same table, but now in CSV format. Now, the only thing you have to do is copy the code and paste it into a TXT file. So here I have the TXT file and you can save it as a TXT or into a CSV. Here I'm going to save it into a TXT and then I'm going to change the extension into a CSV. Then you open the file and it's going to open into Excel and you're going to see the data there. And ChatGPT supports other types of formats like Markdown, LaTeX for math formulas, HTML for websites, and JSON. Okay, the next thing is how we use Vision as data analysts or programmers. Vision allows ChatGPT to understand images and we usually use it in a simple way we just give the image of a dashboard and we tell ChatGPT to give us some conclusions or to draw some insight from the visualizations which is great to understand visualizations or get quick insights from dashboard but did you know that you can also use vision to do something similar to web scraping you don't actually scrape the website with vision but it can help you extract data from a website you only have to save the page as a PDF so you have the whole page in just one file and then you have to upload it to ChatGPT then specify the data that you want to extract and give one sample so ChatGPT knows what's the format of the data that you want to extract and you get your data in just a few seconds so the next time that you want to extract data from a simple website just ask ChatGPT to do it all right another mistake that we usually make is not using custom instructions or just copying the custom instructions from other users if we make any of these mistakes we won't be able to use ChatGPT's full potential because this is what helps us improve chat GPT responses. Now I know that there are many sites out there that offer hundreds of personas for chat GPT's custom instructions and they are good and actually I use some of them but what I want you to do is to use them only as a template only as a starting point and then adapt those custom instructions to your needs. For example here I have a template from a chat GPT course for data analytics and what I do to create my own custom instructions as a data analyst is is just this as a starting point so I copy and pasted all of this and then I just took some instructions from this template and then develop my own custom instructions that will fit better the work I do as a data analyst and if you want to create your own custom instructions you have to open this sideboard then click on your name and then click on customize chat GPT and here I have very simple custom instructions I have I'm a data analyst who writes code in Python and then here is something that I took from the previous template I showed you for example I have things like use 
Seaborn and Matplotlib, and then I have some details about the background that I want to use for the visualizations, and then how I want the visualizations to be organized. The bar chart order high to low, and then more details about the color palettes and the visualizations. If you enable these custom instructions for your new chats, you won't have to tweak ChatGPT responses very often, but your custom instructions are going to take care of your preferences in your new chats. All right, today we're learning how to unlock ChatGPT's full potential by using its features more effectively. And if you want to learn more about how ChatGPT works, an app I recommend you to use is Brilliant.org, which is the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. Lately, I've been using Brilliant to learn how LLMs like ChatGPT work. I dedicate some minutes per day to learn a new lesson using Brilliant on my phone. And on my experience, learning a new thing every day is an important thing you can do for your personal and professional growth. Brilliant has a section dedicated to LLMs, which I love. You learn concepts such as bigrams, creativity, and coherence, tokens, and temperature. The best part is that you learn all this with interactive exercises that will help you develop your analytical thinking, which is better than just memorizing formulas or equations and it's necessary if you want to survive in the new AI age, where tools like ChatGPT are getting smarter quickly. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash thepycoach or click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and now let's go back to the video. Alright, the final tip is a very simple yet powerful feature that every ChatGPT Plus subscriber should use and is the voice feature. The voice feature is a ChatGPT feature that is exclusive to the phone app, either in iOS or Android, and that it allows us to speak with ChatGPT. With this feature, you don't have to pick up your phone and text every time you want to interact with ChatGPT, but you can put on your earphones and speak with ChatGPT. And this is very useful when you want to discuss and explore topics as if you were chatting with a friend or with a professor. For example, you can chat about things like AI, data science, programming, data analysis, and more. And also you can use this feature to simulate a job interview, as if ChatGPT was the job recruiter. So don't forget to download the ChatGPT app and use the voice feature. And that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any tip or anything we should avoid to unlock ChatGPT's full potential. And I'll see you on the next video.